Let me talk to you today about firing warning shots, what I call stop or I'll shoot. All that means is we've been uh, taught by Hollywood that you should fire a warning shot, but in the state of Oklahoma, it's highly recommended by your attorney not to fire any warning shots because it is using deadly force. Deadly force is not allowed to protect your property if the felony is not a forcible felony. You can protect your property if you're in an occupied vehicle or in your occupied home, that's property, and if you are repelling a forcible felony. But to uh, interrupt a burglary in process where the uh, uh, fleeing felon is running off with your property, it is certainly not worth it. Now, uh, when I say not worth it, you could get in serious trouble for discharging a firearm in public. You could get uh, for reckless handling of a firearm. You would certainly be uh, in trouble for discharging a firearm in, uh, in possibly in the direction of any people. Even if they're running off with your 60-inch color TV set, you cannot shoot at them with or fire warning shots. It does not make a difference if it's night or day. In the state of Oklahoma, you are not allowed to use deadly force uh, in order to protect property that is being stolen, such as the tires off of your automobile, or if your car is being stolen, you are not allowed to fire shots at the departing vehicle. Now, it's a different story if the uh, felon is attacking you personally and it's a self-defense situation. Certainly that's different, but we're talking about uh, firing warning shots. Now, if you see your neighbor's home being looted uh, by burglars, please call 911, get a good description of the people and which direction they went. Perhaps uh, use binoculars and get a license tag. This is my helpful uh, bit of advice for today. Thank you very much for listening to me.